What's up, Porsche fanatics? Will here with Renthusiast, my YouTube channel centering on air-cooled Porsche 911 ownership experience. Today, I'm going to be taking you through what I think are the six best 993 modifications that you can do to one of these cars. If you're somebody who owns a 993, if you're thinking about buying a 993, or if you're just even thinking about picking up a classic Porsche 911, then you're gonna wanna stick around because part of the joy of owning these cars is dialing them in. Before I jump into today's content though, I would like to celebrate just a little bit. Uh, I hit 10,000 subscribers a few days ago. I am freaking stoked about that. I've been working toward that for quite some time. I did give away the five Pelican parts gift cards as promised. So congratulations to the five guys who picked those cards up. I hope you enjoy in good health. With that out of the way, let me tell you how I'm gonna work this video. Uh, I'm going to take you through the six best Porsche 993 modifications that I have done to this car. I'm gonna put them in rank order from what I love least all the way to what I think is the single mod that you must do if you only do one. And I'm also gonna share with you prices for each of these modifications so that you know what you'd be in for if you were gonna do something like this. Before I jump into that, I would like to invite you to subscribe. Subscribers get a true view of what it's like to live with, financially support, love, and sometimes they hate these cars, and I say hate, only because sometimes they can be pretty frustrating to keep going. Okay, my sixth favorite Porsche 993 modification, it's my Porsche 993 RS steering wheel. The things that I like modifying most in my air-cooled Porsches are those components you touch regularly. And the steering wheel is among the most important in my view. I mean, what else besides the shifter do you touch constantly? So here are some pluses that I've found with this RS wheel. It's smaller than stock, it gives a feeling of more control, more precision. Uh, the RS wheel is 360 millimeters. The stock wheel is 380 millimeters. This RS wheel is like two inches smaller than your stock four spoke. So that gives you um, like kind of a tighter steering feel. Um, the ring and crest, I feel like are really a distinctive look. The ergonomics are fantastic, but quite frankly, the wheel does sit a little bit high for me. If you know how to get that wheel down a little bit, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Uh, it's a function of the hub. Maybe there are other hubs out there. The hub that I bought came with the wheel. The guy sold me a kit. The wheel had, uh, it, it came with the wheel, it came with the hub, and it came with the resistors for the airbag. One thing that I like the most about the RS wheel is it's something that you can't visually see when you look at it, but when you hold the wheel right around that spoke, you can feel it. There's almost a flat spot on the outside of the wheel that just kind of gives you some confidence when you're gripping it. It just, it's a nice ergonomic feel and it's a nice subtle touch. It's just something that I wasn't expecting until I got into the car and gripped the wheel. Now, a couple of downsides of putting the RS wheel in your car, you're gonna lose the airbag, obviously. And I will say too that the turn signal stock is a little bit further away. It, it, it's, it's, as the hub got longer and pushed the wheel out to you, the turn signal stock stayed the same distance, so you gotta reach a little further. Now, what I paid for that wheel, I paid the guy $400 for the wheel, the hub and resistor. The shop that I used charged me $115 to put the wheel in, and so the total was $515. Think that's a fair deal? Tell me in the comments. All right, my fifth favorite Porsche 993 modification, and I'm sorry that I put this off for as long as I did. It's the Steve Wong chip. I, I have a 95 993 as a non-Vario Ram car. I share with you that mine's a non-Vario Ram car because the Steve Wong chip actually had a lot of impact on my throttle response. I don't know if that's the case with a Vario Ram or a later 993. Uh, so I just want to throw that disclaimer out there, but here's where I'm going with all of this. The Steve Wong chip for the 95 993 is without question worth it. I paid $695 installed, so that was the part plus the installation of the chip, and what I've found is that it has dramatically improved the throttle response. I would not say that the throttle response has gotten twitchy by any means, but it just has gotten so much better, especially down low. So I found before I put this mod on the car, my 993 was a little sluggish in the lower revs, um, that's no longer the case. It's a lot peppier, if you will. So that's the fifth best Porsche 993 modification. I feel like uh, for a $550 plug and play part, it's absolutely worth it. And I'm just sorry that I put it off as long as I did. My fourth favorite Porsche 993 modification is the Fister Design Short Shift Kit. I wanna give a shout out to Darren Fister and his group. And if you're involved in the 993 
arena at all than you know of Fister. He makes solid products. I've been buying cars and modding cars for many, many years, and I gotta say that Fister's products are probably among the best that I've ever used. His short shift kit is awesome. I was running the stock shifter uh, and boot for, I guess, the past two years, really, and I had no problem with it. The leather on it was getting worn right around the shift knob. It started to feel kind of gummy, but I, I just wasn't aware of a lot of good options for changing out. I know some guys put the RS shifter on it. I don't know, it just didn't really catch my eye. I want to share too that I'm running the Goldenrod on my 993, so the Goldenrod plus the short shift kit. Not only does the short shift kit look good with the rubber boot and that round knob, it's very, very ergonomically correct for me, but it has really crispened up the shift action so you know you start thinking about that bolt action rifle feel that you're looking for when you shift gears that's what this 993 has to offer with Fister's short shift kit so that is my fourth favorite Porsche 993 modification I would strongly encourage you to look at it I paid $995 and I think that had a little bit of markup uh, through the shop that I bought it from but I also paid 115 in labor so the bottom line is that I paid $1110 for this mod installed Back to my original point about the RS wheel, I mean, the shifter is something you touch constantly. So, you know, at the end of the day, I think this was worth it because your hand is on that shifter. So I'd strongly encourage you to take a look at that. Okay, what I think is the third best Porsche 993 modification, it's another Fister product. It's the Fister Stage 3 Mufflers. So first of all, I really fought with where to rank this mod in my top six. I feel like at a bare minimum, if you're on a budget or you don't really wanna change a lot about the car, the exhaust is a really a default um, item to change because it is such high impact. And I mean, who doesn't love a badass sounding air cooled flat six? Uh, so anyway, I, I had to land on uh, this as number three because my top two are just so good, especially the top, the number one mod. We'll get to that in a minute, so be sure to stick around. When I got the car, the car came with a Fister Stage 2 muffler in combination with the Fab Speed X pipe, and quite frankly, it was just too much. It sounded like a muscle car. So I elected to take the Fab Speed X pipe off, and uh, I ended up selling that for a thousand bucks, which was awesome. I ran the Stage 2 for about two years. I recently put the Stage 3 on. I, I just love the tone. drone it is awesome on the downshift by the way so if your engine braking it sounds so mean it crackles it pops you can subdue it so like in my neighborhood I don't like to be that guy that wakes the neighbors I'm an early riser by the way so when I'm taking the car out I just I don't want to be waking everybody up um, you can control that I'll tell you about my costs here I paid $115 for the labor to put it on and then I only paid $250 for the muffler after I exchanged my stage two for the stage three, they give you a core exchange uh, value. So my situation was a little funky because I already had a modified muffler to exchange. Bottom line is, is I'll put a link to Fister's site down in my description uh, and you can go poke around over there and figure out what it would cost you to swap your stock uh, muffler if you're interested for a stage two or stage three. So that's the third best Porsche 993 modification is the, the Fister stage three muffler. Okay, what I think is the second best Porsche 993 modification, the Porsche 993 Turbo Bumper Conversion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that this is not for the faint of heart cost-wise. I ended up paying $3,200 for the, to, just to, to get this bumper onto this car here. Just a couple of things for you to think about when it relates to putting a turbo bumper on your narrow body C2. First of all, the bumper that I sourced was a USA spec bumper, and I figured since I was going to do this anyway, why not do it right? And so I had the bumperette cutouts filled in. Uh, the shop did a good job plastic welding those cutouts, and so now it's nice and smooth. You can't see that. The paint match was also something that gave me some anxiety. Silver is hard to match. Uh, with the naked eye, you cannot tell that it wasn't original to the car, the paint. Uh, I know on camera it shows up a little bit different, but trust me when I say that if you see it with your naked eye, you know, it looks good. What I like most about the turbo bumper conversion is it just kind of, it makes the front end of the car look a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more muscular, if you will. And so that's really my second 
favorite Porsche 993 modification. I love looking back at the car even more after I walk away, backing into parking places and you know, just kind of looking at the car from a distance, I think it looks fantastic. So this mod was a little bit expensive in my view for what I got, but overall I'm happy. And if you're looking at doing something like this to your car, I would say just be careful with the paint match. If, it, if you source a USA spec turbo bumper, uh, take a good hard look at making it Euro. Those bumperettes are hideous in my view. Okay, here we are, the grand finale, the one single best Porsche 993 modification that I think you must do if you can do no others. Bilstein PSS 10 coilovers. When I bought my 993, it came on stock suspension. The ride height was absolutely hideous. It had a lot of body roll. I didn't quite realize that until I put the PSS 10s on the car, just how much more confidence inspiring, how much lower, uh, you know, how much tighter it could be. But that stock ride height plus the stock uh, suspension feel, just not for me. Uh, I believe I paid somewhere around five grand to put these PSS 10s on the car. The PSS 10s are fantastic. They're confidence and inspiring. The car goes where you point it. Um, I gotta say, I have probably only had one or two check your pants moments over the past couple of years that I've owned the car and had the PSS 10s on it. What I mean by that is, it is just so good in the curves. I would strongly recommend you look into it. I know some guys look at KWV threes uh, to put on their 993. It's a it's a separate it's a different kind of uh, coilover. I have those on my 9, 964. Uh, I prefer the feel of the Bilstein. By the way, I'll be doing a comparison between those two suspension setups once I get my 964 back. Before I close out, I would like to give you one honorable mention. It's a mod that I did recently, really as a result of a need for a repair. Uh, and it, it's the RS motor mount. So on my last mountain drive, I shredded my Wevo semi-solid motor mounts. I needed to do something. My mechanic suggested the RS motor mounts and I'm really glad I did. Uh, two points I'll share with you about the RS motor mounts. First of all, when the car is idling, when you're at a stoplight, it feels much more alive. It's, it's just twitching. What it is is the, the, is the engine is um, translating more of its movement into the unibody. So it, you can just feel the, the car trembling more. You can feel the idle, it's definitely a cool feeling. And then the car is much more eager to um, jump off the line uh, in first gear and in second gear. So two big benefits of the RS motor mounts. If you need new motor, motor mounts, I'd strongly recommend you check them out. So I hope that you now have an idea what the best Porsche 993 modifications are from somebody who has spent a lot of money on them some of them, and I'll do another video on this, some of the mods I've done, I feel like I kind of wasted my money. Didn't waste my money on any of these. So uh, yeah, if you're looking at modifying your 993, I'd urge you to check these out. And if you can only do one thing, you gotta do the PSS 10. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you have enjoyed the video or gotten something out of it. I do hope to see you next time and I'm out of here.